Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com and today we're doing an Android 101 series on how to navigate your Android device. So maybe you've had a Razer for the last five years uh, and you now, whether your friends, your family, someone finally convinced you it's time to get a new phone. Maybe you sat on it and it finally broke. Either way, you're going to an Android device. Now, there's a lot that an Android device can do, especially compared to, say, a, a Razer. But the question is, how do you do it? So this series, we're going to show you guys how to get the most out of your Android device. The very first episode, which is this, is going to be how to navigate the device in the first place. So let's get to that. Okay, so one of the first things you need to know about Android uh, is the home screens. Okay, so we have a set of home screens, sometimes it's five, sometimes it's seven, sometimes it's three, depending on the version of Android you're using, but that doesn't matter because it all functions the same regardless. Uh, so you'll see here we're on the center home screen. You can tell that in this version of Android because there are little dots down here. You'll see there are two, are, two on each side, which means I have two screens this way. Notice how that became one dot. I have one more this way, and now I'm at the end. I can't go this way anymore. So now we can go back. One, two, I'm in the center again. One, two. So those are your five home screens. And just think of them as if maybe you say it's a piece of paper um, and you can only see what's inside here. So you're pulling that piece of paper into view and then pulling it again, pushing it away from you, etc. Okay, so the next thing we're going to talk about is the app drawer, it's called. This is where all of your applications are stored. Uh, very similar to say like the start button on your Windows computer. You know, you go into start programs and you can see all your programs. Well, this kind of does the same thing. So we're going to tap here and that brings up all of our apps. Now, different versions of Android, you swipe left and right in here, but you can see since I have all these apps down here, they kind of faded into the distance. I'm going to be scrolling upwards and downwards in here. So we can scroll, you can see all the different apps that we have installed on the device and this is going to be the way you're going to get to most of your applications that you want to open. Now to get back to the home screen from here you can also tap this home button. Um, that is different in different versions of Android but for vanilla most new versions of Android that's how that's going to work. Okay so the next thing you need to know is that these home screens that are in the back are customizable. So we can tap our app thing and say I want to put chow spots. I hold the down on it till it vibrates and that allows me to pull it out of the app drawer and I can put it down anywhere on my home screen. So now whenever I go to that home screen that shortcut is there. So it just saves me time from having to go into here. And you can go into here and pull out as many different apps as you want and place them on here. Now you can fill this whole thing up or however you want to do it. Um, and again, you can always uh, hold down on these now. And as soon as they vibrate, you can move them around, just as if they were in the app drawer. And now you can put them, say, over there, over there, wherever you want. Now, the other thing is also, whenever you hold down these, you'll notice that this turns into a trash can down here. Now, you can drag this shortcut into the trash can. And that will actually remove it from the home screen. It doesn't delete it off the device, so it's still inside here. But it deletes the shortcut to it from the desktop. Now the other thing you're going to notice on the home screen are all these big things. You know, they don't look like the app shortcuts. So what are they? Well, they're called widgets. Um, and this is one of the differentiators between uh, Android and, say, the iPhone. Uh, these widgets, basically, they are shortcuts to the application, just like these are. So for example, this is a shortcut to my calendar, obviously. Um, but besides just sitting there and being an icon, they also can draw information to show you uh, without having to click into the application. So, for example, I know that I have to take a pill at noon today, on Tuesday. I didn't have to click into the calendar and go look for that. I can see that right now on my home screen. And these work the same way as these icons do. You can actually hold this down, and pull it over, and put it somewhere else. You can move it around. I can also do the same thing with the other one. I can trash it by pulling it down here and letting go. And Again, with the icons of the shortcuts, when you tap on them, it brings you to your actual program that it's associated with. Okay, now you may notice that widgets are not in here. So how do you get them to your home page? 
So what you do is you hold down on anywhere that's blank and you'll get this add to home screen menu. Now you can also put shortcuts on here, folders that can hold other shortcuts with inside of them just as an organizational thing. Um, and you can also change your wallpaper from this menu. But widgets is what we want. So we're going to click on that. And now it's going to give us a list of all of the apps that have widgets associated with them. And you can choose which one you want. So I'm going to put that calendar back. So there's the calendar. And it automatically put it wherever there was space. Um, and then, again, I can move it around. Now there's no space on this home page to put it because I can't block other things. But you get the idea. So you may notice that with certain versions of Android as well, you have these two icons, one to the right and left of the application drawer, the thing that we opened to get our apps out of. These function the same as these shortcuts that we have here. They're just always available. So no matter what screen I'm on, you'll see that they kind of carry over. So Google made the phone and the browser things that they thought were most important. They put them there. Um, and again, they work just like that. You can tap the phone to get to the phone and of course tap the browser to get to the browser. Okay, so next thing we need to talk about are these buttons down here. These buttons are pretty much on every Android device. They are the back button, the menu button, which always is just like a bunch of lines, the search button, which is a magnifying glass, and the home button, which is a little house. Uh, these are what you're gonna use to navigate throughout the Android uh, operating system, but they do different things at different times, so we'll show you. So for example, I'm gonna go into the market, and let's say I just got into the market here. Okay, so now we're gonna click on an app, Crazy Snowboard for instance. Now, if I wanna go back to the last thing I was looking at, so that would be the market with all of the apps showing, I can hit the back button, and that takes me to here. So again, Crazy Snowboard, no, I wanna go back, back. Now, if I hit it again, the last thing I was looking at was the home screen before I opened the market, so that would take me to the home screen. Okay, so this, this way, back, back, right? So it just undoes whatever the last thing is you clicked on for the most part. Um, the other option, if you wanted to go straight to the home screen, so let's say I didn't, I wanted to crazy snow word. I didn't want to go back, back. I just want to go straight back to my home screen. You would tap the home button. And that button brings you to the home screen no matter what you're looking at. So here we are in the browser, tap home, back to the home screen as opposed to if I hit back, it would take me back a page. Okay? So home, to get home, back to literally just go back one step at a time. If you hit back enough though, you end up at the home screen because that's where everything starts. Okay, so for the most part, that pretty much covers the, the back and the home button. But now these other two buttons here in the middle. First, we'll do the search button. Now, if you tap search when you're looking at the home screen, uh, and both of these buttons do different things when you're depending on what screen you're looking at. If you tap it while looking at the home screen, it's going to bring up Google Universal Search. This search is going to allow you to search the internet. So say I want to look for the Capricio restaurant. Okay. And this can take me right into the browser, searching, whatever. At home to go back. But now, for instance, if I was looking at messaging and I wanted to see what someone said, I can hit the search button and then search through just my messaging, not the internet. So you see how that changes depending on what application you're actually looking at. Same thing goes for, say, my mail, searching the mail, maps, if I wanted to search the maps. Okay, so that's what that button does. Okay, and the last button you need to know about is the menu button. So this button, just like the search button, does something different depending on what you're looking at. So if you're looking at the home screen and you tap it, it's going to bring up your menus for the home screen and also for Android in general since this is the place that you start. So I can see my notifications, I can manage my apps, wallpaper if I want to change, I can, it's another shortcut for the search button which is there anyway. Uh, and I can go into settings for all of the settings for the phone, etc. But now let's say I went into my messaging again. Now if I hit the menu button in here, it gives me the menus for my messaging instead. So I can delete threads, I can do the messaging settings in here. Then they're different than what I was seeing on the home screen. Same thing goes for any other application. So let's open Maps. If I tap the menu button, now this is my menu for Maps. 
So basically, if you're looking for something, you want to change a setting, you want to see what other features you can do within an app, whenever you're in that app, hit the menu button. It'll bring up all of the options that you have for that app. And again, if you're on the home screen and you hit it, it brings up, you, uh, brings up the menu for the phone itself. So all of your basic settings, your you know, ringtone and all that kind of stuff. Okay, and the last thing you need to know about the basic functions of Android um, is what's called the notification bar. So this up here we have, you know, the normal stuff you have on a phone. I have the time, I have my battery levels, I have my signal strength, uh, and then the H or 3G or whatever is determining how fast my data speed is. Okay, but besides that, this part up here serves some other functions. So basically you take your finger from off of the screen, so not on the screen at all, and pull it onto the screen from above, and this will pull down your notification bar. This also makes the date appear up at the top, tells you your carrier, whoever you're using, and then it'll list all of your notifications here. Now what are notifications? Well, they are things like, say, text messages. So you see how the text message popped up there at the top? And I have this icon now showing that I have a text message. Each program has its own little icon, so a, a, there's a little mail, you know, envelope for mail. Uh, uh, there's a little app symbol for the market, etc. So now that I see that that's up there, if I want to take a look at that text, I don't have to go into my messaging. I can actually pull down this, and you'll see the text, the beginning of it at least here. And if I want to read the whole thing or reply, I just tap it, and it brings me directly to that text message. Again, I can hit back to go back to all my messages and hit home to get back to the home screen. So that works with email, with any other thing that uh, you want to see right away, voicemail, etc. You pull this down, it lists them all, you just tap on which one you want, it takes you directly to that so you can either respond or listen to the voicemail or whatever it may be. Okay guys, that's it for our Navigating Android Basics. Uh, stay tuned for our next episode where we are going to show you some other things to do in Android. Um, and we're going to get progressively more into it as we go. Uh, there's actually a lot of things in Android that most people don't know they can do, and they've been using Android for years. So stay tuned for that. Also, leave some comments on the bottom, any questions you may have. Um, and I uh, hope you enjoy.